Ray back again for another lab, Cert Master Learn Network Plus. We're going to be doing the lab 1.3.9, create a wireless network. So start that lab. Okay, so what are we doing here? All right, so we're going to place a wireless access point on the computer desktop. So let's look at our wireless access points. Ah, here we go. We're going to need one that we that can uh, have transmission speeds up to 600 megabytes per second and is backwards compatible with other wireless standards using 2.4 gigahertz. So we know that we're going to have to choose 802.11.0.0. .11 but let's look at the details. What we got here? We got any details? There's nothing. It tells us nothing. Alrighty. So, so I don't see an 802.11 AC device here. So I am going to go with the 802.11 BGN on this guy. And why is that? Well, it supports GB for the backwards compatibility, and it's up to 600 megabytes per second with MIMO with the 802.11N. So that seems like the best choice in this scenario, so that's what we're going to go with. All right, so let's see some space. Do we have space here? Let us drag this guy over somewhere. There we go. Fantastic. All right, let's flip it around. I'm zooming in. Alrighty. Scroll down a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. So we need power and we need to get it connected to the wall. So we got cables. What do we got? Oh, we got a power adapter here. All right, that looks excellent. Let's take that guy. Let's plug that guy into the wall. Whoa, bam. And power to the back of this guy. And whoa, bam. And it's got power. All right, next we need to connect an R6, uh, CAT 6A cable. We're going to do that right there. And we're going to connect it to the back of the existing access point right there all right so we've done that that looks good here's the laptop all right let's do the, let's go around here oh there it is click that guy now she's good now all right fantastic so let's now go into the laptop and get the wireless set up all right so we're gonna go in the laptop all right, cool. Now let's connect. Make sure we're connected to that. We went to there. We went to the Wi-Fi connections. We went to show available ne networks. And the one we have is that one. It looks like we're connected, so we should be good there. So now we are connected. And if we want to go a little bit further, we could always open up PowerShell. PowerShell, if it allows us to open up PowerShell from this lab. Um, PowerShell. And we could run as administrator. And we could do a IP config. And there we go, 192.168.0.1. That will be how we access that wireless access point. 192.168.0.1. If we can, oh, looks like we can't. Maybe we got to do it HTTPS sometimes. And colon slash slash. Ah, we can't get to it. Oh, well, can we ping it? Ping on 192.168.0.1. Dot one. Yes, we can ping it. All right, cool. So we can get connected to it and we have internet access. So let's check our answers. Well, bam, we got them all 100%. Score that lab. We are done. On to the next one.